Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Today is Monday. La Labor La Day. Labor Day, so the mail is not running. Um, we didn't show you our, well, we haven't showed you yet the stuff we picked up Saturday. We did pretty good, and then we had some really good buys at a, a, some estate sales yesterday. So we're going to show you today and maybe tomorrow with some of the stuff we bought. It just depends on how the day flows. Yeah. There is a lot of packages to get packed up, but it's no rush since they won't go out actually till tomorrow. Yeah, I am going to go ahead and pull. I am going to go ahead and pull all the orders today. But like she said, there's no, there's not really a rush. Yeah. This is kind of weird, uh, in that we did, we did buy this stuff this weekend. It's also been listed already before we even showed y'all. Bonnie came in and did some work over the weekend and um, got this stuff listed. So we're going to go ahead and show you this stuff first and get them put back on the shelf. <laughs> I guess. And we'll also, uh, we'll as we're talking about it, we'll just flash the listings up so you can see how much we listed the stuff for. Some of it sold, some of it hasn't. But uh, yeah, this is a little different. I kind of like it. Yeah. <laughs> You know your prices or you need me to... No, I think I I did write them down just in case we needed them. Let me see how good your memory is. Okay. So this, this was good. Candace spotted this in a box, a random box. Oh, Eagle Eye. She saw it. So let me tell you, Saturday, it was, it was of course, again, supposed to rain. We got up. The forecast had cleared. They said no rain till noon. I said, perfect. We'll be able to hit all these sales. We'll be great. Three sales left. The score, the sky just fell out. Oh right, yeah. So um, I'm like, well, let's just go to them. They may be under carport, inside, whatever. The first two we went to bust. The la the very last sale, um, they had moved everything on the carport, and we bought quite a, quite a few things. There. And we were the only ones there. Yeah, I mean, every, everybody was like done for the day. So we, that was in a random box of stuff. They didn't even know it was in there. No, and uh, we got it for a dollar. Yeah unfortunately that's all they had i'm like hey do you have any more video game or stuff a system <laughs> yeah nope no. they didn't mm -mm. so what'd you list that for uh i don't know i'll put it on the screen though i know but you know how I much know. i listed for 22 22 and okay. it's sold already right yeah it's sold it's going to be in a uh it'll be in an upcoming what sold video uh this we bought at the same garage sale i think we paid two for it yep this little nature sounds thing mm -hmm. and listed it for 13 i believe yeah is that right okay i still keep saying we need to keep one of those for like if we're camping somewhere not in nature <laughs> i can turn it on and pretend like we're in the middle of the woods it hadn't really been an issue though well one time we went camping in houston in the middle of the city <laughs> oh yeah that was kind of weird yeah it was oh uh, okay so yeah we paid two listed it for 12.99 and then this is candace spotted these at a garage sale where most stuff had been looked up the very first sale we went to um i knew what we were walking into i'd seen his pictures he had a ton of um action figures and funkos however most of them were priced um pretty high for a garage sale like he had marvel legends for 10 and 15 dollars and i'm like no these weren't priced and i um, asked a lady there and she said uh two dollars each i'm like okay sold. so the only way the only way we were able to buy something there is by something not being marked by yeah. the guy that owned them so and we did ask about some funkos and they wanted what 10 each for those yeah it was so this is all we bought um from there for these four we only figures. paid we only paid two we have dr strange spider-man captain marvel and jonah jameson Okay, and, so he was, he's 20. Yeah. Spider Man's uh, 20. Captain Marvel's 13. And Jonah is 15. Yeah. So That's that was a, listed for. That was an awesome buy by Candace. The total listings off of $8 it was $68. We'll take that yep. all and day. Yeah. Easy to list because they're all packaged up. Okay. This is probably the best find of the day. Well, keep finding these shoot helmets. I'll take it. Yeah. See them. I'm like, oh, shoot. There's a helmet. <laughs> This is a. Uh, what accent was that? I'll shoot. I'll take it. I'll shut. <laughs> I'm not. I'm still not exactly sure how to say it. <laughs> shut. Shoot. Sh uh, I don't know how else would you. Shot. Shut. Shut. Shut up. Um. So anyway, we bought. We got this. I saw this shoot helmet 
at a garage sale. It only had a five dollar price tag on it. Look at the pads inside. Yeah, the it's clean. Yeah, it looks like it was barely used. It's missing the mouthpiece, the mouth guard. The uh, chin, chin strap. strap yeah. yeah, and um, it did have some C's on it, like yeah um, decals it looked like chicago yeah. and uh, i was like okay i'll go ahead and peel those off because chances of the next person needing that on there are not pretty slim but yeah we bought it for five um if this was brand new it'd be worth close to 250. something interesting you found when you were looking up comps the smaller sizes sell for it, more it seemed like the small sold for more than the largest but that might have just been coincidence. maybe it's an anomalous ebay prices don't always make a ton of sense yeah but yeah, I listed this for, uh, bought it for five, listed it for 150 plus ship. By the way, that's a youth large. This is a youth size. When yeah. They're saying small, the youth small sold for more than the youth large. And this is a youth vengeance A11 helmet. So it's, it's definitely worth a little more than most helmets. Um, that same sale, we bought these. No. No, wrong those came from the sale that had this right okay yeah you're right so she had these were these were out there on sale for 15 dollars. they had these sitting in there with it and those were in there yeah okay so um i offered 10 and the lady took it she said i'll i'll do that it has these brand new cleats in there they're um little you know she said it was for her daughter for softball but i guess they could be boy or girl i don't yeah. know so I didn't look them up or anything. I offered her 10. She said she'd take it. And then she looked all sad. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, look, I'll give you 12 because you look, you just look too sad. Maybe she had high hopes for her daughter and her daughter just was not digging the baby. Yeah, I think it was more about that than it was the amount of money, yeah. I think. But um, So 12 for both gloves and shoes. And yeah, she left them full. I was a little disappointed with the value of the shoes. I was hoping they were going to be worth a little more. I listed them for 25 and I think that might be a little optimistic. Now the gloves I listed for 11, I think. Okay. And they they're already sold. So that this basically almost pays for the shoes. Now this was from the same sale as the helmet. Is this? Yeah, that was $5 also. Yeah. Is nice this the Mako? Yeah. Yeah, this is this is a nice little glove. Um bought this for 5 and listed it for 30 already. Yeah. And then this is a dog collar I picked up for a buck. I didn't even see you do that. I just listed it for 10. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's cool. Look at it. It's got forest on it, like trees, forest, okay. woods. The kids call it forest now. Yeah, I know. Back, I'm going in the woods. That's, we... Like a forest to me is something big, like a national park, something like that. To me, a forest. A little patch of treed area, like behind where we live we would call that the woods right that might be a southern thing i don't know but like our girls all of a sudden we realized they called it a forest i'm like that's not a forest it's so it sounds so weird it sounds like you're living in a fairy tale i know i'm going out to the forest to pick some berries <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah um, i just listed this this morning so now this is all listed we have to go put it all back up on the shelves now mm -hmm. and not only that but some of this stuff, I'm gonna put it back and then I'm gonna pull it in a little while to pack it. To pack it. Yep. <laughs> the charades we go through for YouTube sometimes. Huh? <laughs> All right, this is a holiday for most people. A lot of people don't have to work today, but we are gonna go ahead and work because I don't want to have even more orders to pull tomorrow. We may not work as hard as normal. We might take it kind of easy, huh, Candace? No, we need to work. All right, we're gonna work hard. <laughs> Candace said that she's she's supposed to say yeah Lonnie let's let's kind of take it easy today let's relax let's have fun no we need to work only because it's gonna be a short week for me again uh, oh yeah she's going on a girl's trip with her mom yeah like one, once a year all the females in my mom's family rent a house or something and uh just a long weekend just get together play cards stuff like that hang out and you're going on Friday to do that yeah we're gonna go to garage sales and after molly gets home from school i'm going i'll be here most well i'm saying a short but i i may get a couple of listings in but i doubt it i don't know we'll see what happens when on friday yeah yeah so i'm definitely going to garage sales on friday and then it'll be 
I'll be by myself. I'll be the Lone Ranger at garage sales on Saturday. Yeah, last time that happened, it was a disaster. Oh gosh, don't say that. <laughs> I used to do this by myself, believe it or not. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> wow. Am okay. I going to be at my girl's trip Friday night planning your route for you? Uh, would you? <laughs> do I need to bring my laptop? <laughs> she feels like, I think she feels like she's becoming more and more my mother the older we get. <laughs> All right, let me get to work. I'm sorry I asked you that question. Though. That first order is this Sega game. Sega. Uh, Davis Cup Tennis. This game sold for $6.99 plus shipping on top. In CC3, we're still selling this HBA stuff. It'll be gone one day. <laughs> we still have a pretty good bit of it. At one point, though, this entire thing here was nothing but this hba thing like lotions and medicines and just stuff like that but this thing sold for 12.99 plus shipping on top that's these little uh charcoal charcoal teeth whitener things okay we're going to six bravo and i need to pull it's one of these binders that has I think it's this black one. Yeah, pretty sure. It's this black one right here. It's got a bunch of uh, press photos and stuff. Got to take them all out to get to it. This cabinet is not the best for these because of this, uh, or at least where I'm putting them because of this piece right here. We're looking for six Bravo three. This is it right here. The John Wayne press photo, the sons of Katie Elder. This sold for eight dollars and twenty-four cents plus shipping on top. All right, going to Five Echo now, and looking for Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls. They're right over there. Let me go back around. Here we go. These two sold for fourteen ninety-nine plus shipping on top. Would how much you paid like a couple bucks for these right two dollars each two dollars each so we have four dollars into these not not a huge profit but there is some profit there seven delta we sold some playing cards seven brother trailer delta oh here we go there's uh there's actually like three lots back here stargazer and something else we got these super cheap at a garage sale they might have even been like a quarter a deck or something uh, we got 779 plus shipping for these two and one charlie this is a backgammon set we got i think we might have got this friday or maybe last week and eh, no last weekend probably this one was a this one looked a little different than most paid seven dollars for it and we sold it pretty quickly for $26.99 plus shipping on top. When I look at backgammon listings on eBay, I see so many people that either A, list them too low, or B, put them at auction, and that ain't gonna work. Um, it seems like the only reason people get less for backgammon sets sometimes is because they ask less. <laughs> so uh, make sure you price them up a little bit. Okay, four alpha when you go get an auto part. Should be in this box right here. It's a heater control knob. There's only, there's not that many things in here. Let's see, looking for a heater control knob. Should be easy to spot. What is this? That's a control knob assortment. This, this is it actually, this is it. 1019 plus shipping on top for these. And then one more thing this round before I go pack. Ah, this guy right here. This little crab guy. And this is funny. Uh, I thought this crab was so unique this brass crab ashtray i if i had seen one before i don't remember it i showed i thought it was so cool i'm in a chat with uh ryan from thrift mine 
and um, Justin from RVA Flips. And I'm like, hey, check out this ashtray, which is really kind of a weird thing. Look at this little brass whatnot thing. <laughs> and Justin said, oh yeah, we had one of those when I was a kid. And Ryan said, oh yeah, we sold, we bought and sold one of those last year. I'm like, oh, it's not maybe not quite as unique as I thought. And then Candace is like, oh yeah, you see those all the time. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, well, okay, it's not that special then. But we pay like, what, 50 cents for that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's yeah, what we paid. I, yeah it was we paid 50 cents and then sold for 19.99 plus shipping on top. If it would have been in a little better condition, uh, people are getting up to like 25 plus ship for those. I was just about to finish packing the John Wayne photo here. I actually had um, a nice little uh, top loader thing I found on the shelf over there, so I'm going to go ahead and include that. But also on that order. Uh, when I checked just now, they bought something else on CC1, which is all the way down, I guess. Never pull anything here. Here we go. This is a Disney Magic Kingdom license plate that sold for $19.99 plus ship. Candace, I remember buying this, right? For what, a couple of bucks? I think it was $2, huh? Yeah, it was definitely not a dollar because I was like, man, do I want to pay more than a dollar for that? I had to talk you into getting it. Yeah. yeah which I'm glad I did because it ended up being a pretty good return. Yeah. But yeah, so anyway, this goes with this order for $19.99. All right, so this is some more pickups from Saturday. I actually just listed these two cups. I uh, paid a dollar each for them, Tervis cups. This one is simply southern. This one is just unbranded. It's got a floor, floor pattern. Also picked up these two lids for 25 cents each because sometimes we find cups that are um, without the lid. So I'll just hang on to these. So yeah, sometimes we find turvis that are in need of service. And I just realized, and I need to look more into this. They have like a lifetime guarantee. I don't know if you need proof of purchase or if you can just have a cracked cup and send it in. If that's the case, I might start looking for broken cups at garage like sales. Like we used to do with Jansport book backpacks? Yeah, Jansport had a lifetime guarantee. And you just sent them a backpack and they sent you a brand new one. Whether it had a hole in it, a strap torn off or whatever, they didn't care. I think they changed that policy. Yeah. But we got a few backpack, new backpacks for Sarah that way. Right. Buying, buying like old raggedy looking backpacks at garage sales for almost nothing and sending them in to Jansport because they didn't require proof of no, purchase. No, and they, they would email back, okay, here's, we don't carry that model anymore. Here's a link, pick one out. Sarah, come pick out your new backpack. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was pretty cool. Yeah, and the thing is, if you're, if you're Jansport, like supposedly, I did have like way back in the day when I was like, when I was a teenager, I had a Jansport that I sent in for warranty and they actually repaired it because they had the like, strap was torn off so they just sewed it back right i can't remember what it was but whatever it was they just repaired it if, but if it's repairable they would repair it if not you just got a new but backpack. they don't even have the fabrics for these things anymore yeah. so they i think they pretty much just would give new ones but anyways yeah. uh, so anyways you, i need to find out about their lifetime guarantee which would you pay for these a dollar each and uh, those 16 ounces go for like ten dollars each okay Sometimes more, depending on what's on them. Like, these are just, like, kind of generic, not like sports or something. Well, I have seen the Simply Southern before, which we have sold. Yeah. And then this is I what... I thought that was L Lily and Vernon. It kind of looks like one of their patterns, but it's not. Lily and Vernon never did a collab with Tervis, so... Okay. And then what else you got here? This is a box I picked up for $5. I mainly... What caught my eye was this children's um cookware is uh corn like corning spice of life it's modeled after that so um i had to take the whole box for five dollars so there's just uh, there's some junk in here I, I mean yeah but you have a ton of this yeah like here's another one there's dishes look at all the look at all the plates there's a coffee pot that probably has a recall on oh that no 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 <laughs> actually this does not have a recall because this this one right has the look it has the the metal band mm -hmm. so it's actually got a physical attachment instead of just relying on glue but this, yeah we've got all kind of plates and stuff in here and cups 
Now, some of them are not that pattern, but I, I don't know. I haven't researched them all. There's some little pots and stuff. Um, mainly, I got it. I got it for the spice of life stuff. Um, children just like me. Some kind of sports puzzle, or whatever. I, yeah, the only. I think you're just gonna make a lot of uh, this stuff. That's it's, not even the same pattern. See. Uh, There's, here's a holly hobby plate. Oh. Uh, There's just a mix of stuff in here. Look, look at this. I know, it's cute. It huh? has a carrier. A carrier. For it's like it's missing a part. Five so. bucks for that box there. Yep. Alright, time to pull another round. Five Bravo. So Mortal Kombat. For Super NES. And it's got this bad label, as you can tell torn dirty it's got a name written on it this sold for $12.99 plus shipping on top then from MU32 I just pulled this cosmetic it sold for I think $8.99 free ship got a couple of these left and now I'm back here on four Delta we sold one of these we sold a bunch of finials from this buy uh but this is the first time we've sold some of these uh brackets these are for uh like a a clothes rod or clothes hanging rod no curtains curtain rods yes same thing it's just a pole whatever <laughs> uh sold this for 14.99 plus shipping on top then on one charlie candace listed a lot of doll clothes is it this? Might be this. Let me take a look. This is it. Yeah, this is it. This lot right here sold for $29.99 plus ship. Then an MU8. We sold one of these Zippo um, lighters. That is new, but it does have branding on it because it was used as an advertising piece. And then never actually used and 10 Charlie I'm looking for a video game this shelf is getting a little out of control I guess <laughs> uh, looking for a game called armored core and it's disc only I think Let's see, here's a game this might be it yeah this is it armored core Oh, this says two. I hope I noticed that. Sometimes I don't notice the sequel stuff. Yeah, I did. $9.99 plus shipping for this game. From Joe Drawer, sold an action figure. This guy right here. He has Wolverine claws on it. The uh, title says Ultimate Sabretooth Victor Creed figure. Anyway, this guy sold for $14.94 plus shipping on top. Something different here. Six Delta, we sold uh, some kind of pattern. Oh, this is it. A McCall's pattern for this Gremlins costume. That is odd. No, somebody's gonna be Gizmo for Halloween. That's awesome. I, don't, I think this might be the first pattern we've ever sold, huh? Do we, I didn't even know we had that. <laughs> I didn't know it either. You must have listed that. I don't think I, I think listed that. I think that must have come out of one of our storage units. Oh, man. Weird. Well, uh, we didn't buy that at a garage sale. Sixteen forty nine plus shipping for that. Staying on that same theme, we sold another costume-related item. Or actually a costume. This is a dog. Oh, I see it, I think, back here. get out of there is this the right thing I think it is yeah this is it this is an avocado with sombrero dog or cat cast costume it's, it's an avocado costume so weird uh, this sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top and that's it for this round let me pack this stuff up okay next next round here we did sell this little thing here. We might be the only ones to have ever sold one of these. No, I 
I think I found one on Earth Point. What'd you whip around like that for? Dusky. Because <laughs> in case y'all couldn't hear me, I think I found one on Earth Point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, so this sold for six ninety nine plus shipping on top. It's a uh, a replacement pill bottle for a vintage medical kit, toy kit. Five Delta bought us this chess set that must be on the other side, accessible from the other side. Bought this chess set for, I think it was, Candace, was this five? This chess, I think it was five. It was five or less. But I'm, I can't really remember. That must uh, have been at a garage sale. That was a good garage sale. I think it was the garage sale where we bought the uh, beer steins and stuff. I think. That sounds right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this ended up, this is Chinese chess. And it sold over the weekend for $40 plus shipping on top. And this next order, this is a really good one. This is a nice little comic order here. I went ahead and wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. And we're looking for four Wonder Woman comics and they're all signed. You can see there is a signature there in silver Sharpie. And then we're looking for a 35 right here. It's signed over there on the side. Then we're looking for 34, which is next, of course. It's signed right there on the, uh, what is that? Is that a leg? I'm trying to, oh, that's like a, that's her crown. Okay. And then one more, looking for 32. It's right here. And it's signed on this, uh, oh, that's interesting. We're just talking about chess and there's a chess board. And it's signed on the chess board. So, uh, yeah, really nice little comic order here. The total of all these together ended up being $59.96 plus shipping on top. And probably, these are definitely going to go in a Gemini comic mailer. And depending on, I don't know if they're going to go first class package or I might. What I may do is go ahead and just put them in a... Uh, one of the flat rate envelopes inside of the Gemini comic mailer. Joe Jor, we sold some type of Christmas village thing. Supposedly, and maybe it's really small. I was expecting something bigger. I don't see anything at all in here. Oh, sometimes I just get blind. I don't know what's going on uh yeah this little christmas village thing is the coca-cola trolley this sold for 11.24 plus shipping on top this is interesting uh we actually sold another one of these wonder woman comics and i think all of the signed wonder women comics are gone i think this is the last one yeah where is, okay, yeah, I see this This one is signed right there in silver Sharpie. This one sold for $14.99 plus shipping on top. Interesting how when one person buys something, I don't know, maybe eBay promotes it more or something, I'm not sure. Supposedly back here below the air conditioner, we have a poster and I think we do actually in one of these round poster tubes i may just go ahead and use that for shipping i think i didn't use it before because we have more than one poster in here but now i think this is the last poster that's in the tube so i will go ahead and use it and of course i'll have to close off the end caps but yeah that's just too perfect uh that sold that poster sold for 37.49 plus shipping on top that's a good one we had two of these and the other one already sold alien drawer this is a batman watch we had it for quite a while and it was one of those things where i kept procrastinating 
on listing it because it had a dead battery and I didn't want to list it saying it needed a battery. You can see it's running now. So uh, yeah, eventually I did replace the battery and we listed it and we got really good money for it. We got uh, 71, what did we get for that? 71.99 plus shipping on top. So very happy with that. Just wish I wouldn't have procrastinated so long. Go ahead and pull this out. This is a uh, this is a cool card. It's not very valuable or anything. It's a Mike Pouncey card, and it's got this uh, cool New York Giants thing in there. I don't think that's anything game worn or anything, but it's still cool. And it is numbered 587 out of something. Oh, sold it for only 439 plus uh, eBay standard envelope shipping on top. And 10 Charlie, this is something we showed y'all just a little while ago. Uh, this is one of the things we just picked up this weekend. I listed it Saturday and it sold already. This is Spider-Man from No Way Home. Uh, he sold for $19.99 plus ship. Okay, last round, I think, for today of order pulling anyway. Candace is working on some old G.I. Joe parts over here. Yeah, those go to the big headquarters. Um... So I'm just selling those parts as is, as a lot for people that need to replace or, you know, missing parts, I guess. Yeah. And then after that, today's a day for lots. This is a fodder lot. Don't you like that word? Hello, mother. Hello, fodder. Hello, fodder. <laughs> I have a bunch of figures, missing parts, or... Be, you know, like he's missing something off his head, apparently. You've sold fodder lots like this before, haven't oh, yeah. you? Yeah, never one this big. So I'm going to auction it and see what happens. I'm kind of excited. Are you? Yeah. Excited about your fodder? Yeah. Okay. I like to see what people um, will pay for random accessories. Look at, I know. Look at that. That looks like something. Some pieces I may I uh, might pull out and see uh, if I can sell separately. Uh, yeah, the only problem with that is the more you do that, the less, less your, lot. your lot is worth. Right. Oh, yeah. You some you gotta leave good stuff in lots sometimes. Yeah. So it's kind of a kind yeah. of a balance. There's a lot of capes and stuff in here too. It's not just figures. Yeah. So. And there's little weapons and stuff also. And I have some other stuff from random things I've listed that I might throw in there too. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see. That's a that's a good way for us to liquidate i should say huh yeah okay righty pocket 29 we sold a harley owners group it's gonna be on this side 29 here we go one of these hog pens yeah that's all it is harley owners group sometimes they'll have like a number of years or something like that this one's from 1983 sold for 749 plus ship and four delta We sold this Ravensburger puzzle. It is brand new, uh, factory seal sealed still. And we paid uh, we paid either a dot one or two dollars, right? What is it? That. Yeah, that was just a couple of bucks. Yeah, I think it was two. I think you're right. Uh, we got twenty four ninety nine plus shipping on top for that. So um, haven't made a killing. Like this one was really good. Haven't made a killing on puzzles but we always buy them when they're sealed just about because that one's it, made in germany is it yeah yeah ravensburger is a german it's, company yeah it's german. i didn't know they were made in i didn't know they were still made in germany though i knew it was a german company ravensburg what's on the side dude 2017 ravensburger north america it gives distribution centers in New Hampshire. That doesn't mean it was made there, though. Definitely doesn't mean that. Ah, here we go. Made in Germany, right there. Who knew? Twenty-four ninety-nine plus shipping on top for that. Pocket thirty-four. We sold a uh, little Lego thing, a little minifig. Now this guy, a little tiki-looking dude, I guess. What is this called? Tiki. Island Warrior Tiki Minifig with base plate. Uh, that sold for $17.99 plus shipping on top. I think he was from the Lego movie. Lego? Okay, I don't... Did you ever see that? No. Not me either. I probably never will. 
Then these we showed you just a little while ago, then we put them back up and now we're gonna pull them again. These uh, batting gloves, they're new on card like you see there. They sold for $10.99 plus shipping on top. They came with some shoes that we bought for $12. Today is Little Stuff Day, which I kind of like sometimes. This is a, wow, this little patch is, little patch is kind of dirty. Keystone Skiing Patch. It's got a skier on it. Uh, this sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. And the last thing we're pulling today, this is also something from Saturday. This is Super Mario World that we got for a dollar. And man, the label is so good on this one. Couldn't believe it. Even the back label looks good. It even came with the little, the little cover there. We were just a really, really nice. I mean, this isn't a super expensive game or anything, but this is about as good as they get. Uh, $21.99 plus shipping on top for that. All right, so I was trying to date these playing cards. These are Congress brand. Um, trying to date playing cards, you're married. Uh, he no. loves dad jokes. <laughs> anyway, Congress. Um, one thing I did find out: Congress playing cards are not as valuable as Chem playing cards. Well, no, I, yeah. But there are still some really good ones out there. These are okay, probably about twenty bucks. Because, um, well, one thing: the edges are gilded. I don't know if you can see. That's silver, and that's gold. So, you know, I like to research. I started looking on how to date playing cards. Um, so on the ace, I don't know if y'all can pick that up. There's like a, a number, a letter, and then some numbers. Yeah, you can see it. So the, the letter tells you which year it was made, which this is really silly. So we have an S. So it could either be 1913, 33, 53, 73, 93, or 2013. Okay, so how do you know? How do you know? Well, <laughs> <laughs> some of you may be asking, how do you know? You probably think the numbers after the letter <laughs> tell you. They uh, don't. That has to do with the, the style. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lucky for me, <laughs> I have a sealed deck with a tax stamp on there there's actually a tax stamp. i remember when the i remember when that little st tax stamp used to be on like the regular cardboard box decks uh-huh they used to be on and i don't think they put them on there anymore so i went down in the article and they talk these are bicycle cards if you need to date bicycle cards that's what this website is okay so then they start showing you the different tax stamps oh my gosh yeah look at that and it tells you the age so I found mine way down here. It's going to be this one right here. No, it's going to be this one right here. Okay. So that tells me my cards were made between 1940 and 1965. So now we go back to our chart. Go back to our chart. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> so 1940 to 1965 S. Oh, my cards are from 1953. <laughs> That this is the biggest waste of time I've ever seen in my life. For twenty dollar two double decker cards. I I forbid you to ever go to this website again. You are forbidden. This is so ridiculous. I thought it was interesting. It is interesting. It is. But then at some point it's like what? So what is that deck of cards worth? Um, hopefully twenty dollars. I'm hoping for that one deck. No, for the both for double for all three. For the set, yeah. Oh, oh, this is an empty box. Yeah, that's the case. Oh, I thought you had I thought you had this deck, this deck, and then two more decks no. here. So these go into there. Gotcha. Now, if you have, like, the big money in these old Congress cards is, like, Art Deco scenes. If you okay. have that, that's big money. My subject matter is kind of meh. So, yeah, some wagons or something. Yeah, some, yeah, so. Okay, well, no, that 15 is. 15 to 20 bucks on these. I'll pay 250 at an estate sale by the way we've done pretty well like the modern the like brand new modern decks that's just a, like commodity type thing i mean you can if you get them cheap enough you can make some money but we have had some older decks of cards in the past and the, we're the kim the kim ones the yeah. kim are good kim are uh kim are good because for a couple of reasons number one kim are plastic 
so you could just wipe the cards off if they get dirty and they're fine and if you have cards get damaged you could send them back to kim and they'll replace them for you yeah. but uh yeah that that is, that actually is interesting that is so much research like the chart finding the chart would have been enough for me and then to cross reference that with, the, with stamp. the stamp without the stamp i would have had no idea i figured they were probably from the packaging mid-century but not exactly you know 1940s to 60s was kind of what i was thinking and then i found the tax stamp in the article i'm like yes okay so if any of you are as sick as candace and want to know what this website is it's bicyclecards.org and then it's USPCC. USPCC is the tax, uh, the dating codes. That's what this is. USPCC okay. dating codes. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Okay. I will never go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've now come to the time of day where Candace will usually just disappear. What are you talking about? I'm talking about that time of day where I will like use. You don't leave either. No, I'm. I'm not saying anything bad. What are you talking about? Well, you need to just, like, you're on edge. Are you okay? Candace just disappears. Nobody well, knows where she goes. I'm about to explain if you let me finish talking. I can't wait to hear this. Well, usually around this time of day. What, what time, time is of it? day is it? Anyway? I don't know. I'm looking. Well, it's 536. So, usually around this time, though, Candace will, will leave and she'll go start getting dinner ready. And I will stop working too on regular eBay stuff and I will start editing video, which I'm doing right now over here. That's usually what we do. I already have dinner on the stove. Do you? What are we eating today? Curry pork stew. That sounds good. Red curry. I like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so defensive we have so much flourish today <laughs> you like that come on over to your computer Lonnie and edit some video this is staying in the video I hope you know that I, I have to disappear now y'all <laughs> that's what I do every day you never know you never know when women are gonna be in that mood you all know what I'm saying you, am I right guys <laughs> what are you talking about the look on your face <laughs> Uh, get to work. Yes, ma'am. That's you, what you guys do. You get to work too, lady. I am. I'm going slave in the kitchen. Oh God. I already slaved. I smell like garlic and onion. Let me smell you. Mm, ooh. <laughs> I'm kind of turned on. <laughs> <laughs> really? Actually, I am. I think I think garlic and onion might turn me on more than like a, a regular perfume. But you keep giving me these. Why do you? Where you were going with that? Why do you keep giving me these looks? So you may start rubbing the onion and garlic on myself. Yeah, make yourself taste like a uh... a stew. <laughs> a candid stew. Yeah, that'll work. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this one. <laughs> Thanks a bunch for watching. Oh God, bye y'all. Tell them bye, Lonnie. Bye.